everyone. In this video, I'm going to be walking you through how to use Smart Chips, which is a new feature in Google Docs, to quickly hyperlink items into a Google Doc. So it works very similar to HyperDocs in the sense that when you link it, you can click on it and go to that item. The big difference is just kind of how it's presented within the Google Doc. So as you can see from these few items I already have linked in here, once you use a smart chip, it'll actually show you what that item is, and you can see that this is a Google slide. When I hover over it, it will show me a preview of it, who the owner is, when the last changes were, and I can even make um, a copy of the link as well. And I'll also show you how to do this with the other items too, so you can see that the little symbol shows up for like Google drawings and whatnot. So to add this, all I do is do the at symbol, and I can start looking up we get a glance and I can add that in. And now when I hover over that, I can see a preview of the document and all the same information that I just mentioned before. I can do the same thing with a Google drawing. So I'll add a bubble map. And when I add that bubble map, you can see now that the Google drawing symbol pops up and I can see again who the owner is, when last changes were made, or I can make a copy of the link. So one more I'll show you just so that you can kind of see how that works. I could add some presentations in. So maybe I'll do breaking down the four C's and that quickly links that in there as well. Now you can do this with slides, docs, drawings, all of that can be smart chips. Uh, you, you can use those as smart chips within a Google Doc. Um, you can also do this with a calendar invite and with email addresses. So maybe I want to talk about when my four easy steps for flipping the classroom is coming up. I can search that, find that calendar event. And now I've got the calendar symbol here with all the information for the event. I can even do the same thing with email addresses. I can find myself and I can link myself in there with my email address. So as you can see, this works out really, really easy and very cool way to organize some stuff. Now, my disclaimer right now, and I don't think it's a user error, but not always when I'm searching for things am I able to find them. So for instance, I've got a tree map I wanted to add in here and I cannot find it. I find old documents that must have had the word tree in it or something like that at some point, but it definitely doesn't have what I want. So I do think that is a feature that's gonna need to be fixed because when I look up these items, all that's showing up is the top four items and it's not showing me everything that I actually want or even the item that I want specifically. So big disclaimer that I think that must be a bug that needs to be worked out, but if someone knows what I am doing wrong, I would love to hear about it. So hopefully you have a chance to play around with smart chips and let me know what you think.